Okay, the first step, turn the amp to gain. And then the cord coming from the amp goes into the iPad headphone jack. A little bit of a noise there. And then everything that plays out of there should play at full volume, hopefully. Okay. And here I have an iRig. It's like a little drum machine controller. And from this cord, it's the lightning bolt. It goes into the same place where you charge your iPad. This is the same port we will use for the keyboard and also for the microphone. The microphone takes a different cord, but this ends the same. The keyboard uses the same cord as here, so you unplug this and put it into the keyboard. So let's start a new song. I'm going to click to My Song and click Plus. Regular drums. Regular drums gives me a, a kit. And right now the metronome is on and the tempo is fine. I could change the tempo here. Let's actually move that up a little bit. I'm going to play a little bit faster. Okay, looks good. Tempo is on. Uh, metronome is on. This is pressure sensitive, so. So you get the idea. I'm going to just go ahead and try first take. We'll just take whatever works on the first time. One. Okay, that's a pretty weak drum play, but if I click back to here, I can see there it is. And I accidentally made that six bars. I'm going to switch that down to just a full four bars, and I can hear it back now. I can turn the metronome on and off, and if I double tap this, I can loop it. A little bit hard to get in. Make sure you've got it turned the right way or it just won't go in and you'll mess up the adapter. The arrow is facing up. Two, three, four. Something like that is good enough for this demo. Let's, Let's go, go over to the keyboard. I've got a whole bunch of choices. I could do grand piano, but let's just go over to this polarized one. I can make, change the sounds a little bit. That's, that sounds nice. Okay. I actually didn't start at the beginning, so I'll go back. One, two, three, four. Okay, I've got that. And now I'm just ready to go ahead and start a vocal. So I'm going to click back to instruments. I'm going to go over to vocal. Now this microphone has its own cable and it goes into the charger connection. But because the mic is picking up all the sound, you cannot now you can no longer hear the sound coming out of the regular headphones. So in the back of this head of the microphone, it's a headphone jack. So I can plug these headphones in. And I can test the levels. They seem about right, good enough for right now. And I can adjust the volume of the headphones here. So I'm going to go ahead and click back, make sure I'm at the beginning. And I'm going to record. I am not a singer. Two, three, four. I know the first line I don't want, so I'm going to go ahead and tap on here and bring that handle over to, to the five. 
and bring this back over. That makes it easy. It's exactly the right length. I'm going to take it there. Now I'll double tap on it and loop it. And we can hear it over and over and over again. It's that good. So let's go back to the beginning and let's hear what we've made. This is the best song that you ever heard. Let's hear it now. This is the best song.